Well, a locale, ma'am, was something I wanted to quickly read with you guys because I just found it. This is a tweet from uh, Mr. Matt Drange uh, referring to Cloudfair, uh, Cloudflare's CEO, Matt Prince. Well, you'll see. Let's read it. Team. Earlier today, Cloudflare terminated the account of the Daily Stormer. We stopped proxying their traffic and stopped answering DNS requests for their sites. We've taken measures to ensure they cannot sign up for Cloudflare's services again. This was my decision. Our terms of service reserve the right for us to terminate users of our network at our sole discretion. My rationale for making this decision was simple. The people behind the Daily Stormer are assholes, and I'd had enough. Let me be clear. This was an arbitrary decision. It was different than what I talked about with our senior team ab than what I talked with our senior team about yesterday. I woke up this morning in a bad mood and decided to kick them off the internet. I called our legal team and told them what we were going to do. I called our trust and safety team and had them stop the service. It was a decision I could make because I'm the CEO of a major internet infrastructure company. Having made that decision, we now need to talk about why it is so dangerous. This is why I want to share it with you guys, because this guy saw what he did. He had a moment of clarity amidst all of his anger, amidst his bad mood. It only gets better from here. I'll be posting something on our blog later today. Literally, I woke up in a bad mood and decided someone shouldn't be allowed on the internet. No one should have that power. Blank, the Cloudflare employee's name, asked after I told him what we were going to do, is this the day the internet dies? He was half joking, but I actually think it's an important question. It's important that, we, uh, that what we did today not set a precedent. The right answer is for us to be consistently content neutral but we need to have a conversation about who and how the content online is controlled. We couldn't have that conversation while the Daily Stormer site was using us. Now, hopefully, we can. I'll be publishing a blog post with all our thoughts on this issue in a few hours. Until then, I'd ask that you not talk about this externally. Oops. This, of course, again, is a, an internal letter from Matthew Prince, the CEO of Cloudflare. And he is very clearly shaken up by his own actions taken in the absolute furor, the, the fever pitch frenzy that the Silicon Valley, that tech has taken to seem better for diversity, right? This is, I mean, it's absolutely stunning because he's, he's almost there. He's not quite there. Right at the end, he says, the right answer is for us to be consistently content neutral, but we need to have a conversation about who and how the content online is controlled. He, he still wants to be able to control the internet, right? Sorry, I'm just itchy. It's been a long day and yeah. But he he's... He's realized that he's not the person to do it, that he went too far, except it's okay because it's the Daily Stormer. Of course, I disagree with him on that point, not because I think the Daily Stormer somehow deserved to be considered right. Yeah, they're stupid assholes. But you deal with stupid assholes by letting them hear silence until they give up. I know this because I'm a stupid asshole, and that's how a lot of people deal with me. So, Cloudflare, do recognize this. This is this is a is a turning point, and you're right on the money with just how risky what you're doing is. Am I gonna say you shouldn't t have taken down the Daily Stormer? It's your company. You can do what you want to do, but there are going to be repercussions and not just financial, social repercussions, repercussions you yourself are aware of that you made appearance in an email I honestly never should have been able to read, but 
Let's face it, shit gets leaked. And I hope you realize that I'm, I'm reading it and sharing it with people because it's so important that exactly what you're saying be discussed. But I think for different reasons than you think. I don't think the internet needs to be controlled at all. I think the internet makes a perfect place for corporations to be as exactly sociopathic as corporations are and abstract that away from people. Have it, have the social and uh, general impacts of corporations lightened by making their competition place a truly equalizing battlefield. But, you know, that's my opinion based on research into economics and dogamics, so we will get into those subjects again on another time. What I want to talk about for this moment is the fact that Cloudflare is actually my host. And I, I need to know, uh, Matthew Pr Prince, I need to know, Cloudflare, are you going to take my shit down? Am I an asshole? Because I'm absolutely a troll. And I ac absolutely say shit that is considered deplorable by the modern age. And if, if I need to move my DNS, I I'd like to know now. So, um, if you guys could just, I don't know, send me an email to please let me know. And I will uh, be looking for it. Thank you very much.